So Carl Hagberg, one of my all-time favorite people, who's an inspector of elections and has his own publication, the Shareholder Service Optimizer, is going to join us to talk about employee plan tabulators. These are tabulators that there's a small group of them. They're boutique firms that specialize in tabulating the vote for employee plans. Carl will explain how important that is to have a tabulator like this because the other tabulators could be doing this type of job, but it's really messy, so they don't really spend the resources to do it right. It really is a specialty. I'm Brock Romanek, today on Zippy Point. So Carl, what about employee plan tabulators? How are those different than, I guess, a normal shareholders meeting tabulator? Uh, yes, that, that that's a good question. There are a few, um... Uh, suppliers who specialize in tabulating employee plan votes and it's funny in the past 10 years people have not been paying sufficient attention to employee plan votes in my opinion typically an employee plan may have five to ten percent of the outstanding shares in that plan and as a rule employees have been voting like less than five percent of their shares and guess what in a close vote if you can get half of if you can get five percentage points of your outstanding shares to vote your way which employees typically do you know they like to keep their jobs they like their companies uh this gives you a lot of breathing room for some reason people have not been paying a lot of attention to this so i think if you have five seven ten percent of your votes in employee plans it pays to pay a little special attention to this most tabulators can handle this, but they don't like to because it's messy work. So what you need to do, I may have five different plans. I may have a regular stock purchase plan, payroll savings driven kind of thing. I may have some other plans where people can uh, two or three times a year or once a month can send money and actually buy shares at a discount. So I may have three, four, five different employee ownership plans. So it makes sense to consolidate them onto the same voting document. So you sign one card and you, you vote all your shares, whether they're your registered shares or they're your street shares or they're your employee plan shares. So that makes some sense. But the other thing is, you, you know, you, you have a big advantage that you, you know that your employees by name. You have their email addresses 99% of the time. They're basically friendly to you. You have an opportunity to reach out to them and say, hey, you know, our vote is coming up. This is important. We hope you'll take the time to vote. You should assure them. You won't be snooping and looking, you know, and you, you may contact them again. You'll know if they haven't voted, but you'll never know how they have voted. So they shouldn't worry about that and urge them to do it. And then you have a link that goes right to the voting site and they go right then and there while it's fresh in their mind and they vote their shares and they're done. So there's a lot of merit to looking at employee plan voting as a separate little bucket in terms of your tabulating uh, and inspecting uh, procedures. And if you're soliciting those employees, you might be filing additional soliciting material with the SEC, proxy supplements that, you know, you have messaging that's geared towards these employee shareholders. And then yeah. for the tabulators, do they then report their tabulation they, they don't report it to the, the overall tabulator. That's going straight to the company and to the inspector of elections, I imagine. No, no. In other words, the tabulator, you need a tabulator who will receive these votes. And by, they and ideally, you see, you'd like to get this all done over the web, that you contact them. You may show them a little video. You say, click here to vote. You take them to the voting site. So you have a completely closed, you close the loop all at once. So you need a tabulator to do that, but it's the upfront work. You need to figure out who all these people are, how many plan agents there are. You have to get the records from them, okay? Sometimes people are using five different entities to keep the records for various uh, employee plans. So you do have to get those records, then you have to consolidate them. You have to be sure they add up to the totals correctly. And that's so that when I sign one card, I vote all of my shares. So you have upfront work that a lot of people aren't keen, they're not keen on doing it. It's annual meeting season, everybody's terribly busy, and that's where often the specialist firms come in to um, 
uh, uh, to tackle just that. That's their their sweet spot, and it's worth looking into. Great, thank you. Very much.